Evolutionary Relations Between Humans and Primates by Julicia Barton, Alexis Rosenthal, and Sarah Carswell. Have you ever been to a zoo and wondered just what exactly are the evolutionary relations we share with other primates? Besides the point that we share the same common ancestors, just what else is there that makes us so close to them? So let's begin with understanding exactly who these primates are. Well, the dictionary defines primates as mammals of any order that include lemurs, bush babies, monkeys, apes, and humans. They are distinguished by having hands, hand-like feet, and forward-facing eyes. Most primates, except humans, are typically tree dwellers. Basically, in simpler terms, the word primates basically refers to the categorization of mammals that have similarities of hands, feet, and forward-facing eyes. Now, what do we exactly have in common with these little friends? Well, for starters, we share similar social problems. We both want to make friends, find mates, and sort of gain position within society. For example, just like in high school, how we strive to be popular and be surrounded by friends, chimps also desire to be popular within society and gain respect from others around them. Next, our personalities are also very similar with one another. Chimps and humans both share the five dimensions of personalities, which are neurogatism, extroversion, openness to experience, agreeableness, and constituousness. This comes from the five big personality theories, which categorize humanistic personality traits into five four traits. This shared personality dimensions are explained best by our genetic similarities. For example, humans and chimps share common ancestors counting back about four to six million years ago. This is closer than orangutans and humans, which share common ancestors who date back around 15 million years ago. Let's dive deep into the five branches of personality we share with chimps. First of all, we both share a sense of neurogatism. This is the main branch that causes emotions such as sense of sadness or depression. We both suffer from the feelings of guilt, envy, anger, and anxiety. Next, we share extravision. Just as we can be depressed and cry, we also can be bubbly and sociable. We are, at, we are both talkative, action-oriented, enthusiastic, and outgoing. However, at some times, we also can be attention-seeking, easily distracted, and unable to spend time alone. Next is openness to experience. We are both incredible at having active imaginations, also known as fantasies. We also share aesthetic sensitivities, attractiveness to inner feelings, preference for variety, and intellectual curiosity. Then we have agreeableness. Humans and chimps both have the ability to be warm, friendly, and tactful. We both can have optimistic views of nature and get along with others around us. Finally, we both share a sense of consensuousness. Consensuousness refers to a high level of self-discipline. Individuals with consensuous personalities often tend to follow a plan rather than to act spontaneously. Their careful sense of planning and perseverance makes both chimps and humans to be successful in decision makings within their life. Of course, not all humans and chimps have all of these personality traits balanced within them. Just as some people are more moody or bubbly than others, both chimps and humans are different from one another in terms of personalities. However, the fact that we both share the same possible personality traits only furthers our close relationship that we share with our chimp cousins. So in conclusion, we share both physical and psychological similarities with our primate cousins. So the next time you go and see a chimp in the zoo, think about just how similar they actually are when compared to ourselves. The end.